Assalamu alaikum, I'm Kar Sahain. We're good? We're all ready for another M60 adventure. We're here today at Lostock Circle, which is junction 9 of the M60. Now these flats opposite are called Circle Court, and they were built in the 1960s, just here, off Barton Road. And when I've Googled it, looking for a bit of history, it says they're in need of much modernisation and there was even talk of getting 173 residents out of here and rehoming them. So I'm not sure if these flats are still open or not. If you go on YouTube and type in Circle Court, you will find videos of people lift surfing in this block of flats. That's when people get on top of a lift and ride it up and down the elevator shaft. I bet from the top of here, You've got a fantastic view. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could get in and go and explore? Yeah. Obviously you need a code to get in, so I think we're going to be denied that view from the top. I mean, you'd see the Peak District over that way, Welsh Hills and the remains of Fiddler's Ferry the other way. As we quite often do, let's have a little look at the map of the local area, M60. Trafford Centre is just here, Trafford Park. This junction opened in 1960. Obviously, as we know, the M60 didn't exist back then. This was junction four of the M63 at that time. This walk was sort of thrown on us this morning. So I've not really planned a route and I've not done any research. So we're just gonna wing it, have a move, see what we see. If I'm honest, I wanted to go on the other side of Lost Dog Circle and head round to the traffic center that way. But I hope, let's just see if we can get across this road here now. Now then, little child welfare check. Have you got your warm booties on? Yes, you have. Are you dry? Yes, it don't shake your head. <laughs> because the comment police have been on at me. Because we had a walk in the rain last weekend. A little bit of rain never hurt anyone, did it? Like my great grandmother used to say to me, Nan, be hard, you soft bugger. My friend Heather from Northern Ireland that I used to live in Germany with actually hand knitted these. Found they're lovely. There you go, you can see the famous coupler, or one of the couplers over there on the traffic centre. The UK's second largest shopping centre, if I remember rightly. So much easier to get to when you're driving, the car park's just there. What is this bridge? Looks like a disused railway line. third largest shopping centre actually, opened in 1998. I remember well before it opening, our geography teacher, Mr. Fogg, aptly named, telling us that Manchester was gonna get its very old shopping centre. Because before that, you have to go to places like Leeds to the White Rose Centre, or, or what's the one up in Newcastle, the Metro Centre. A week before it opened, my nan and granddad came down thinking it had opened and the builders were still there with the hard hats on finishing the place off and anyway somehow my nan and granddad ended up wandering into the traffic centre like why is everything shut and what's that other one down in uh, Birmingham Star City I must say 10 out of 10 for the architects who designed the traffic centre because it's pretty timeless it's a proper like Italian Baroque style isn't it Nice with a bit of sunshine. Lovely and warm. This sun's out there though. I know we spoke last weekend about Lidl. We got some new walking boots from there, didn't I? 20 quid. Pretty decent. Look okay, over Lily, a tram. Not 
forgetting that the M60 is literally still just over there. For anyone not round here, you might not know that the B symbolises Manchester. I think it's something to do with the spirit of people working together, the industrial revolution and all that. Shall we pop our heads in at the traffic centre, see what's happening? Yeah. Don't think you've been before, have you? <laughs> When the Trafford originally opened, what did I say, 26 years ago, none of this bit here existed. This was all built later where Primark is and Legoland and SeaWorld. Nor did the trams exist. Trafford Palazzo, which is Italian for palace. Oh, look, baby girl. Look at the lions. Get my hand. Nearly have me then, did you see? <laughs> Smooth. So, should we go in? Yeah, let's do it. Wow, we were. Look at this baby girl. Look at those pretty lights. Fantastic. literally full of statues of ladies with the norks out. Can you wave? Maybe Lily. Do you like it in here? Nice isn't it? It says up there MMXX that means 2020. Shall we go and see the mermaids? Come on then let's do it. Mate, I've spotted sea life. Wow, that roof is fantastic. I've never seen this before. This is new. Hey. Look at your little feet, mate. <laughs> You're doing very well. All the pretty mermaids and the dolphins. Well, you know what? I've been to Mall of the Emirates, I've been to Dubai Mall, but this is just as good as either of them. Wow. It's a big car, isn't it? I wish I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a baller, I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit and a hat with a bat and a 6'4 and Paula. Right, we need to find the lifts to get upstairs, across the glass bridge to the main bit, and then out the other side. Mate, just spotted a Lego Yoda and a Kylo Ren. Who is it? A feisty one you are. You're a wizard now, Harry. Nice bit of tail. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw a witch doctor, he told me what to do. Bum, 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 bum. That's where we just walked before on the other side, isn't it? Oh. What a stunning place. Pretty sure that the last time I came to this bit, this was all open air and that dome hadn't been built. What a place. I love it. The place where memories are made. Jurassic World. Uh -huh. 
The closest you'll ever come to living dinosaurs. Look at the paintings up there as well. A lot of the shops that used to be here when I was younger are long gone. There used to be a dead good bookshop there on the right. Oh, the Orient is closed. Glass lift, wow. Look at that view. Look out there. Wow, can you see? Selfridges and the big dome. <laughs> chai Wala. The other day at the wedding, my lad brought us some proper Indian chai. So I called him Chai Wala. I like this section, it's all Arabic architecture, the Mackies. Burger King Barbarito and then the section in the middle here looks like a big ship, a cruise ship. What do you reckon, missus? <laughs> One of these just opened up at the airport, does really well. Right guys, as we leave the traffic centre, let me just show you the great hall here with the fantastic steps. A nice step in there. Fantastic. Enjoy that. I think that was your first time at the traffic, wasn't it? Pulled fast, that which is good. Now just to finish off this video, we're going to go over this bridge over the M60 for one last view of the motorway. It does make all that difference when it's not raining, I must say. Just trying to figure out how to get up to the bridge. And it's just up here and around to the right. Chap there confirms that this is the way to the bridge over the motorway. I don't suppose it's a place that many people actually walk to for the traffic. It's one of them, you drive here, you park up and in you go. So it's quite interesting to, to see the surrounding areas, the, the woodland. Been another good little day out with my baby girl. You enjoyed it? Yeah, <laughs> Of course she has. Loves hanging out with her dad. Yeah, and here we are. Tower in the back there where we started this morning. factory indoor ski slope at the back there on the Barton Bridge. We'll explore them together on the next video. Until then, Jai Boliki!